Hey guys, Blonde Asino or Toxic Ezra here, and we're finally on the last one. Bless the Lord. All right, we're talking about Balrona today, and I'm super excited to talk about Balrona because you guys are finally gonna get, gonna get to see what I mean. All right, all right, there we go. Done. Talking about uh, the skills of each first, not not the skills, but basically just what they're good at. Obviously, uh, we're gonna start off with fire. Fire is pretty decent. Uh, really reminiscent of Fire Succubus in a way. It just has the attacks greatly restore HP and an elemental edge. Uh, good for PvP offense. Really, really good for PvP offense, actually. As well as very, very good for golems and dragons, honestly. And that's due to the self-healing and the elemental edge, because obviously it won't die. And it has a, and it has a good 5-star skill to give it elemental edge. Uh, the only difference is, the only thing I, I don't like is that it's not an attack or it's balance, which can be like pretty detrimental, to be honest. Uh, but actually, that can make it decent on PvP defense, to be honest. Maybe. I'd have to try it to see it in action first, but it could be decent on PvP defense. Uh, anyways, moving on, we got the Water Balrona. Water Balrona is pretty much only going to be good in Titans. It has that 3-star Courageous Strike and the 5-star Defense down. So pretty good Titans, Mon, to be honest. Uh, I don't like that it's an attacker, but... I still think that it has a, has a lot of potential still. I think I still think it is a pretty good just because of the defense down as well. It's self-reliant. Uh, third up is Wood Balrona. Wood Balrona is like a Wood Arthur, or Water Arthur, sorry, but with seals instead of attack down. Uh, decent in PvP. I don't see it being insanely great in PvP, uh, but, I mean, I can always be proven wrong, obviously. It is still a strong monster, you know, like, I mean, it's, it's I mean, it's definitely a strong monster. It's probably the best. It's probably one of the best out of them as a uh, for PVP defense. Next up is light. Light is that 100% shock. Really, really nice. Kind of like a light Arthur, but it has that actual useful five star skill of elemental edge. I think light is going to be very, very good for uh, PVP offense. However, it doesn't really have too many other uses. I guess honestly, with this one, you could probably use it on PVP defense too, just because it is a balance type and it has some pretty decent stats. Uh, but other than that, it's not going to have too many other uses besides just, uh, PvP. Lastly, we come to the monster that you guys have been waiting for. I'm going to say it right now, okay? I'm, I'm going to say it right now. Dark Balrona is the single best monster in the game currently. But Toxic, but Blonde, what about Dark Odin? Dark Odin's so good, it has the... The heels and the 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 defense. Di no, 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 no. Silly, silly you, silly you. You think you think Dark Odin is better than than Dark Balrona? All right, let me exp let me let me show you. This is a Light Persephone three star skill. All right, Light Persephone. You know how good Light Persephone is. Light Persephone would be the best monster in PvP defense besides Dark Balrona if it wasn't for its light typing. Dark Barona can't even get bullied by dark off by mono dark offenses. It actually can't get bullied by them. Like the thing is with Dark Barona is because it's, the the reason Light Persephone isn't isn't used more. Like I know GGG took it off his defensive team is because so many people use dark offense use uh, mono dark offenses that they can just burst down Light Persephone based on type advantage. That can't happen with Dark Barona because it's not going to have a type advantage. Secondly, it has a Water Nightmare five star. Let me tell you guys, my Water Nightmare right now. Heals pretty much my entire team for full health when it uses its skill. Like, it heals for an insane... It heals for like 24,000, 30,000, some, sh some crazy shit like that. Alright? That is a defender. Look, I want to show you guys. I'll, I'll compare. Look, Dark Run has 39,000 HP. Alright? Water Nightmare here is 27,000. That's the same thing as the, star as the Dark Sea Star compared to Dark Siegfried comparison. It's absolutely ludicrous. How insane that heal is gonna be! That's gonna be like pre. That's gonna be like four pre-nerf uh, water Persephone heals when when water Persephone was a tank. Like this thing is so incredible. It's I don't even know if it's available to be honest. I really don't. I've never seen anyone with it. But holy shit! If you have this monster, Jesus fuck to you. God damn! I wish I had this. This thing is so broken. It's so broken. It's what is even, what even is this monster? Uh, anyways, all of that out of the way. All of that out of the way. Um, 
I'm just gonna get this out of the way, where Dark Balrona is the best monster in every single thing except for Titans. So I'm when I when I'm including these rankings and stuff like that, when I'm gonna when I'm gonna tell you what to Evo three, keep in mind that when I, that except uh, not including the part where I'm talking about Titans because Titans obviously has a has a way different meta. Consider dark consider that Dark Balrona is first. So I'm not even gonna mention Dark Balrona, okay? I'm not even gonna mention Dark Balrona, but Dark Balrona is first in everything except for Titans. Just let me I'm telling you that right now as a preface. Anyways. Since it's, we're not going to talk about Titans uh, with Dark Balrona, I'm first going to start with Titans. We're going to talk about Water Balrona. Water Balrona, obviously, uh, is the one to Evo 3 for Titans because it has the uh, Courageous Strike as well as the on the 3-star, which is really, really strong, especially against Fire Titans, as well as the Defense Down, which means it has its own procs for Utility, which, means it's a, which makes it a really strong monster since Utility is so sought after in Titans. Um... Yeah, not much else to say here. There's not really anything else that can really even close to compare in Titans as, like, I guess, uh, no, nah, not really even Fire Barona, honestly. So, yeah, uh, Water, Water Barona is going to be the only one that's really good for, uh, Titans. And that's just basically because of Courageous Strike. Uh, for PvP, uh, farming, it's probably going to go to Wood Barona. That's just because it's a 50% SP bonus, but it is a defender, so it's kind of a little bit sketchy because you're not really going to be able to, like, build high attack on, even with a siphon set, so, yeah. Uh, moving on, we're going to talk about uh, golems and dragons. For golems and dragons, it's it's probably going to have to go to fire. Uh, golem, that's basically because it not, not only does it have elemental advantage, but it also has that HP siphon, uh, which will make sure it doesn't die. Especially because it won't die against uh, to elemental disadvantage in dragons, which is the only thing that would worry about. Because in dragons, the water one is the B6, and you're not really going to be worrying about B6 in late game as it has lesser drops. Um, so yeah, for golems and dragons, probably going to be fire. For PvP offense, it's and defense. Honestly, it's probably going to be light, uh, light Barona and light Barona. It's basically just going to be light because it has that 100% shock and the elemental edge, which is so good. I love that 100% shock. Um, but yeah, it's it's just going to be... On offense, obviously, I don't have to explain that you can just target who you want with a 100% shock, which is really, really nice. And then uh, elemental advantage just leaves it super, super OP just uh, in general because you're going to be able to uh, pretty much just hit all those... Uh, what's it called? You're going to be able to hit all of the uh, fire, water, and wood monsters uh, with the really OP thing while they can't hit you back, which is why I really like Elemental Edge on uh, light monsters and dark monsters. However, one thing to note about defense is that light, uh, just like a lot of the other light monsters, like Light Persephone, it will get focused down by mono dark offenses, uh, which leads me into the second thing, which is uh, wood Balrona, which can be really good in niche, t uh, in niche defenses. It's not going to be super, super strong at only like a 60% proc rate of two turns, but it can be strong enough to, uh, it can be strong enough to be like worth Evo 3 I guess, if you, I mean, I don't really want to say it's worth Evo 3 because if you have other than wood, pretty much all, any of the other ones is better than wood, but yeah, uh, it only serves as a PvP application. Next up is going to be, <clears throat> sorry. Next up is going to be for PvP defense is going to be fire, which I would consider, which I would probably consider the best one out of the out of the original trio. And fire is going to be because you can actually kind of do it like a water Arthur, or like sorry, not like a wood Arthur, where you put it as your hidden. Not only does it give you some uh, type diversity based on the PvP meta, but it also gives you um, a really nice self healer that's going to be really hard to kill and elemental advantage because of the five star skill as well, which is very different, but. Uh, in some ways better than uh, Wood Arthur's AoE, which is a, the two-turn stun. Uh, to recap, to recap, I'd say that probably Fire is going to be best in PvP defense for dragons and for golems. So Fire Barona is more than like it's pretty much just like the best one overall. Uh, however, Water is probably going to be the is definitely going to be the best for Titans. Wood has some niche scenarios, and uh, Light can has its uses on PvP offense mostly. Uh, obviously, all these are behind Dark which is definitely the most OP monster in the game. Like, I can't, I don't want to, like... If I can go on such, a, like, a rant on how incredible this thing is, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm just going to say that, uh... 
If I if four three three gives me a dark bow Rona, if if four three three gives me an Evo three dark bow Rona, oh my god, that my birthday is on April twenty eighth. I don't know if I'm gonna post this past then or not. That would be the best birthday present ever. Four three three. If you're listening, give me that. Give me that Evo three dark bow Rona, please. Come on, Heroes Festival. I'm gonna look at all these gems I have. Heroes Festival. You already know what's happening. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching so much. Uh, this is concludes. For now, until they add more Nat 5s, uh, these Witch to Evo 3 episodes. So I hope to see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.